All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about a custom survival knife that you can actually afford. That is right, after a lot of your suggestions, I have been working on getting a work tough gear knife. Now, this one in particular is the Voyager, this is the one we're gonna be talking about specifically here, but also we're gonna be talking about a little bit just overarching of who work tough gear is, if you're one of the probably five people that doesn't know work tough gear, and also why I think these guys are pretty darn cool. So First off, why do I think these guys are pretty darn cool? And I think that's kind of like the first part and the most important part of work tough gear. And that is, as I led with the intro, these are essentially custom knives that you can actually afford. Now, work tough gear works off of a very interesting principle where they tend to work with, whether it be YouTubers or just in general, people who want to design knives but don't necessarily have the ability to manufacture them. So they kind of work as a functional tops knife. Uh, like if you guys know who Topps knives are, they kind of work in a similar vein to Topps knives. However, work tough gear are made in Taiwan, so they are dra drastically more affordable. So that's kind of the cool part about these knives coming out of work tough gear. You're getting custom designs, and the next part that makes them once again kind of similar to Topps knives, um, but still kind of gives you that semi-custom uh, feel is that they are made in limited batches. So this is a bit of a, in my opinion pro and con that work tough gear doesn't really have any like consistent knives that are just always there you know they don't have any knives that are you know just a, a like a consistent knife so to speak that they make however they make small batches of designs from custom makers and people who are interested in designing knives and they bring those knives to life now this is one that like I said this is an example of that this is the work tough gear Voyager this is one of their newer releases um, as it kind of tracks, you know, I have to get what they're making, but um, this is the Voyager and uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool to see them bring these knives to life. And like I said, they do these small batch runs, but the best part about it is, and what I think really impresses me the most, even for this being a Taiwanese company, is the fact that they're able to work with a designer, make a custom design, like a fully unique in-house design by you know whoever decides to work with them. And then they ramp up manufacture for that specific design or designs. They make it and they produce it for a short period of time in a limited batch, but they keep the prices very reasonable. Now, these are by no means super cheap knives obviously we've gone over things like sub twenty dollar mora robusts and you know hold the furs heavy duty knives that are you know sub twenty dollars these are you know closer to hundred fifty dollars but that is still very reasonable for what you are getting once again that whole custom manufactured um kind of basis to these knives and they are very well done the fit and finish on them is great as you guys can see here hopefully i'll try to get you guys as close as i can you know like all of your corners are very well chamfered on this design in particular you have an embedded um or kind of yeah just an embedded lanyard hole so your lanyard hole is drilled into the um <clears throat> tang further back and there are slots in the handles for you to route that uh, lanyard and so you have some very high quality kind of fitment with these blades um, in addition to that too especially with the voyager um, the spine has been ground to a 90 degree so it is very sharp and will easily um, strike a ferro rod and perform well in a realistic survival task um, but aside from that they usually offer them in a few different flavors whether that be different grinds or whether that be different handle materials or even blade steels but the core principle is that they make you know custom designs periodically through limited batch numbers so these guys are pretty cool um, i'm definitely gonna have to be testing the voyager here soon but i just thought i would talk about work tough gear with this voyager kind of like as the the line line um, to kind of express these guys like i said i do get requests to go over work tough gear and i think that they actually make some pretty darn cool designs and i think the fact that they you know do this kind of like limited uh, edition kind of semi custom production of their knives makes it very cool now it would be cool to see some just straight up you know like uh, kind of legacy models from these guys because i think that's probably the only thing i dislike about work tough gear is i'm not entirely sure how logistically feasible it would be but it would be cool to see some just evergreen or legacy products that you could always turn around and buy because there are very very few times that I go to their website, which is one of the few places you can actually buy WTG knives. 
and like whatever model you want or whatever model in general is pretty much sold out. So it would be cool to see some legacy models that they keep stocked frequently, but that would probably be about the only like criticism that I have of WTG is that, um, you know, it would just be cool to have a few legacy models where, you know, they still integrate these designs and these kind of semi-custom builds, but having those few legacies that if you wanted, you know, a particular survival or bushcrafting knife, you could just buy one of those. But either way, it is pretty cool. Now, a lot of their knives are made out of SK-85. For those who don't know, SK-85 is essentially a Taiwanese slash Chinese version um, or kind of their, you know, offspring of a high carbon steel. And it's a pretty basic steel. So you're looking at essentially 1083 or 1085 high carbon. So you're going to be looking at about a little bit less edge retention and a little bit um, increased toughness than 1095, but take that for what it's worth. Um, you know, they are very similar steels, and so you're going to get a lot of similar performance. And for me, once again, due to the fact of the price point, due to the fact of the semi-custom nature, I don't really have a problem with the steel that they're choosing in these knives. Now, another thing that, once again, continues to impress me because in my opinion, I'm not a knife manufacturer, but I know, um, you know, custom makers, I know you know, like production companies and stuff. And so the fact that they're able to do what they're able to do with this company really impresses me because another thing that they knock out of the park with every single WTG I've came across is they have really awesome sheets, almost always Kydex and very well made. Um, they're not without flaw, but they are pretty darn good like you guys can see here you have a good proper drainage hole well form fitted i'll show you guys the attention here really snaps in as you guys can hear and they're just well designed kydex sheets and once again i think that that's impressive because they're taking a design you know from a custom maker doing a small batch semi custom make and they're ramping up to make custom sheets they're ramping up to make custom knives um, and so they're ramping up to build this whole you know small batch of very you know like custom thing like a very custom package all for a very affordable price i mean even companies that i personally love companies like bark river knives that do similar things where they do small batch custom runs like the strike force 2 they still use generic sheaths for these like this is just one of bark river's generic sheaths that can house multiple blades of a similar blade length so even like even looking at like WTG from the fact that, you know, they make a custom design, they make a custom sheath, they put it all together in a package and it's about, you know, <clears throat> it's about a hundred, you know, 150 to 125 dollars is a pretty impressive fee. Like, don't get me wrong guys, that's actually pretty darn cool. So. In short, these guys are pretty cool. If you're looking for something that has a little bit more custom flair to it, if you're looking for custom designs, I would say regularly check WTG because they work with a lot of people. Like I said, this one just so happens to be an Aurora Borealis um, knife design. Um, blade and so it's pretty cool to see them work with that designer and really to see a lot of designers even joe flowers has worked with these guys to make designs and to make knives come to life so these guys are pretty cool and just about everything they do you know um, they do a very good job like i said the fit and finish of all of these knives everyone that i've handled is top tier and so you'll definitely be seeing some more work tough gear kind of uh, knife reviews and features on the channel because I do really like their products. And of course, like I said, people do request uh, Work Tough gear to be featured on the channel. So if you guys request it, I can't always make everything happen, um, but I do try to get other knives out there or I do try to get knives that you guys want to see on the channel um, for you guys. So like I said, um, Work Tough gear is pretty cool. I'm gonna be doing another video on this one, but yeah, these guys make some pretty cool knives and the fact that they make these semi-custom runs that are very high quality um, are really speaks volumes to the manufacturer. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.